Genitive case is used with many different prepositions, and we already looked at some of them. In this video, we're going to look at the remaining prepositions, including the ones indicating origin. You probably remember that we have several prepositions that can mean from, uh, but the good news is that all of them require the use of the genitive case. These include is, which can mean from or from the inside of, is New Yorker, is banka, is biblioteki. Preposition s, when it is used in the sense of from, or it can also mean from the top of. Selekcii, z koncerta, z aktibria. And finally, the preposition od, which can mean from or away from. Od doktora, od mamy, od minia. Now, remember that is is the opposite of v, s is the opposite of na, and ot is the opposite of k. Now, you know that the preposition u with the genitive case can mean either proximity or can be used in to have constructions. Uh, however, in some contexts, for example, uh, when you talk about buying or asking or learning something from someone, uh, it can also mean the origin or source. For example, ja uznala betam u Saši. Ja kupil mašinu u saseda. The prepositions do i posli govern the genitive case and can be used uh, do uh, can be used in both spatial and temporal constructions. Do emigracji poet žil v Moskvie. Anna не успела перевести текст до урока. Мы готовились к экзамену до часа ночи. Она вернулась домой после работы. Он всегда отдыхает после обеда. Uh, preposition из-за might be new to you. It means because of or on account of, and it is always used when the cause is something negative. For example, дети не пошли гулять из-за дождя. Из-за тебя мы опоздали. Газета The Village Voice закрылась из-за финансовых трудностей. Once again, note that in all of these examples, the cause is something negative. For a positive cause, we would use a different preposition, which we'll discuss later. And two more prepositions that govern the genitive case are для, for, uh, or for someone's benefit, and a related preposition ради, for the sake of. Бабушка приготовила завтрак для внука. Он читал письмо не для нее, а для Веры. Она на все готова ради сына. Ради Бога, не ходи туда. Это все.